we're here with Brendan Jacks from Prescott, Arizona. And he at 401 today, 401. So at 401, you were actually, um, he hit it right after, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, because I looked at you and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gonna get <laughs> it, he's gonna get it. And so uh, you also use the uh, Formula 5. Correct, by Crank Crank, Crank, yeah. uh, Crank has been very good to me. They've, uh, they've always helped me out. Um, oh, Lance Reeder, the, the owner of the company, um, kind of took me under his wing, you know, with the, with the World Long Drive Association. And then uh, Dean Jarvis, of course, the brainchild of the ALDC. Um, right went ahead and took me under his wing. So, you know, I, I'm supporting the LDC now. Okay, and so you are, this is your second year, correct? Correct. Okay, and so you won last year as well? Um, I won my division, yes. Right, okay. Correct. And then, okay, well that's fantastic. So, tell me, a little, everybody wants to know, because I know that a lot of the amputees um, come from different areas. And so, uh, I know that you have a great story, and uh, I understand there was some things as it quote unquote kids should not be doing. Correct. And so if you could tell us a little bit about that because I know this started, I mean, I, you were, I mean, from what I heard, I was a, a wicked pitcher though too. You had yes. a 93. It was a 16 okay. year old. 16 year old, 93, 93 miles 93 at 16 years old, wow. <laughs> okay, and so tell me how from there things kind of went south. Um, you know, I, 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 I got into a, a bad groove. I started, um, you know, drugs and alcohol. And uh, one night I came home, you know, inebriated and um, I just had thoughts in my head. You know, I, I just didn't have any hope whatsoever. Um, I came home and grabbed the 12 gauge out of my dad's closet and proceeded to load it. And, uh, and uh, luckily my father came out when I was turning the gun up, but uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to be PG, um, you know, I, I was gonna out myself. And uh, my father and I proceeded to wrestle for the gun. The, the, the struggle ensued and it ended up discharging on my, my thigh. You know, it blew out my femoral artery. I did have the leg for a year, however, um, due to the poor circulation, uh, I ended up losing the limb at okay. a year and a day later to the date from the initial wow. accident. Okay, and so from there, I understand that um, right now you have been clean and sober for 14 years? 14 years. 14 years, and mm -hmm. you have a wife, Jennifer? Jennifer, my, my wonderful wife of 10 years. Wow, and then of course your two children, one is eight and one is four. Correct. Wow, okay, and so tell me what else you do in Arizona. Um, well, I, I, I am a distribution supervisor for Coca-Cola. Okay. I've also been with Coca-Cola 10 years. Wow. You know, my wife. Um, Is that where you met? Uh, no, I met at my sister's wedding, as a matter of fact. Everybody meets someone at a wedding. Yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I've been with Coca-Cola 10 years. Um, I started in Yuma, Arizona. Um, you know, they did, a, they did a restructuring, and that's what brought me to Prescott, Arizona. And um, it's just been a wonderful change, and, and life is good. I can't ask for anything better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a good story, and I know that you tell your story so that mm -hmm. you can help um, other kids or other adults or anyone that's in that same situation. And to know that, you know, 14 years ago, maybe you wouldn't have been here. You know what I mean? And I so, lost two thirds blood supply that night. You know, wow. the Lord was looking out for me. Yeah, definitely. absolutely. And so. And you know, you being here and, and doing the long, you know, doing the para long drive, and you're going to be back in October. Absolutely, I wouldn't do, miss it for the world. Wow! And so, how often do you play golf? Um, I mean, right now, my, my job keeps me pretty busy, and the kids are in sports. My daughter does ballet. My son is in t-ball. I'm assistant coach for the t-ball team. Of course. You know, I try and be active within the kids' lives. Right. Um, but uh, you know, I'm lucky if I get out once a month. At, really? And you hit it at 401 once a month? Maybe that's what uh, helped go, me hit at 401. I, I was, go once uh, a week and I can't get it at 190. I was fresh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much and thank you for being, you know, honest and letting us know about your story. And I hope it does help other people to know that, you know what I mean? Life can be good on the other yes, side. You just don't know it when you're in that hole. You know, right? I just like to thank Mesquite and, uh, of oh. course, Dean and all the volunteers today. Everybody's been great and wonderful. The town of Mesquite's been so inviting we to love, us. We love having you here. So. And, and we love being here. So, you know, I, I think we uh, we mesh very well. Yes. So I appreciate it. And hopefully uh, in October, we're going to have triple, quadruple the numbers uh, and, you know, just really be an inspiration to the amputees out there, no matter what the cause may be, to have them come out and know that, you know. If you get up every morning, yeah. there's always hope. So, right. you know, we, well, we appreciate you. it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate All right, we'll see you in October. Cool. Okay, thanks.